Hello students, it's time for another gizmo. Uh, this time we're going to do a calorimetry lab. So if you're not sure what a calorimetry lab is or what a calorimeter is, that might be the first thing to look up once we get started on this gizmo. Uh, I'm gonna show you how this gizmo works. There are a few sections to it, but we're only going to do activity A and B. Of course, you should do the warm up that comes before activity A so that you understand how the gizmo works. Okay, so let's take a look at the gizmo and I will meet you at that website. Okay, now we're at the Explore Learning website and you're all logged in. You wanna find the gizmo and so we're just gonna search and you just have to type in Calo and we have a calorimetry lab. And then we'll launch the gizmo. Here it is. And as always, what we always wanna do is we wanna go under the lesson info and we wanna get our vocabulary sheet here it is, and it tells what that calorimeter is. And we'll go back over here, and we wanna get the student exploration sheet. And remember, this is what guides us through how to complete the gizmo, as well as where we answer our questions and uh, record any of our data. Okay, so for this one, we're going to do uh, activity A, heat transfer, and then we'll scroll down and we'll do activity B for specific heat. So here is our gizmo. So how does this one work? Um, very straightforward. Let me just move me to the other side. I should have enough room here. Um, we have this container and this container is the calorimeter. And what happens is we've got a thermometer that's in here and it measures the temperature of the water. And what we can do is we can add these different uh, items to the water at different temperatures. And then we find out what the final temperature is. So if we start out with copper, for example, Right? We can tell how much copper that we want. We can change the temperature of the water, uh, of the copper, excuse me. And let's just make this very, very hot and we'll make it a big chunk of copper that's in there. And then what we do is we hit uh, the play button and we'll go to the graph in just a minute and we'll see how the temperatures change. You can add all of these things here if you like and you can end up with different results that way. So what we're going to do is we're just gonna start with the copper. We'll make sure it's selected. We've got our 200 gram sample and it's in it's 100 degrees Celsius. Down here is for the water information. The initial temperature is 30 degrees and we can also change the amount of water that we have, right? So this is our initial conditions for the materials that are sort of mixed together to see what happens with their temperatures. If we click on the graph part here, and we hit play, we're gonna see the temperature profile as it plays out. So down here is the key. So here's copper. You can see that copper started very hot and it cooled down. And then the water, oh, just ever so slightly changed a little bit. And then they reached their thermal equilibrium, right? And of course you can reset it and you can change this for the different materials. So now if we go back here, I put in granite, we got rid of the copper and we can start it again. And we can see there's a different temperature profile for this. So this is what we do. Let's make this hot again. We'll put this over here one more time so you can kind of see it. Uh, this is what we do to check to see the final temperature between two things that are mixed together. Right? We can use calorimetry to do that. So this is the gist of the lab. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Make sure that you complete um, activities A and B and I'll see you online.